What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make house number 6, the 6th house from my House Roundup 3 video, and coincidentally, the 6th house I'm going to be showing you how to make. Just in case you don't know what I mean by House Roundup 3 video, I've left you a link in the description, just in case you're curious. So, if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need stone bricks, spruce wood, oak wood planks, oak wood slab. You'll also need glass pane, spruce wood stairs, stone brick stairs, oak wood stairs, and finally, you'll also need a door. I would suggest wood. That's all the stuff we're going to need for now. We'll probably need some more things later on, but we'll grab it as we need it. So once you've got your materials and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to make it right here. You're going to want to start off with this little sequence of blocks in a row on the floor. You're going to want to do one spruce wood, four stone bricks, one, two, three, four, two of your door of choice, one, two, four stone bricks, one, two, three, four, and finally, a single spruce wood to finish off the foundation of the front of our house. So, pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we can move on to the right side of our house. So, coming over here, taking a sideways view of the row that we've just done, we're going to want to extend out this spruce wood block to the right with our stone bricks by nine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you're going to want to do a spruce wood just to finish it all off, giving you something that should look like that. And once you've done that, we can move over to the back of our house. So, once again, taking a sideways view onto the row that we've just made. Again, as we just did with the side of our house, you're going to want to extend out this spruce wood block to the right with our stone bricks, except this time, you're going to want to extend it by 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then finally, a single spruce wood block just to finish it all off, giving you something which should look like that. And you may notice that the back of the house lines up perfectly with the front of our house. So what we're going to do now, once you're at this point, you just want to connect the front and back spruce woods together with our stone bricks to give our left side of the house and give you what should look like a nice little square. Once you've reached this point, pause that if necessary, we're going to be building up the walls a little bit. So, starting on the front left side of our house, right here where this pig's meandering about. Go on, pig. There we go. Starting on the front left hand side here, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to throw another spruce wood on top of where we already have spruce wood there. Then you're going to want to go right of that block with this little sequence. You're going to want to do one oak wood plank, one glass pane, one oak wood plank, one stone bricks to give you something that should look like that. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, you pretty much want to do the exact same thing on the other side. So in reverse this time, one stone brick, one oak wood plank, one glass pane, one oak wood plank, one spruce wood, to give you something that should look like this. And that's the second layer of the front of our house. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we can move over to the side. So. Doing it in the same order as we built the foundation, so coming over to the right side of our house, we're going to want to go right of our spruce wood block. This may sound familiar. And you're going to want to do this little sequence of blocks. You're going to want to do one oak wood plank, two glass pane, three oak wood planks, two glass pane, one oak wood plank, one spruce wood, to give you something that should look like that. And once you've done that, Pause that if necessary, of course. You're going to want to move over to the back side of our house, over here. And you're going to want to go right of our spruce wood block again. You may notice that there's a little theme here. And you're going to want to do this little sequence of blocks. You're going to want to do one oak wood plank, two glass pane, oak wood plank, two glass pane, oak wood plank, two glass pane, one oak wood plank, and then finally one spruce wood to give you something that should look like that. Pause that if necessary. That's the back of our house. Once you've done that, we're going to be finishing the final side of our house. So coming over to the left side of our house, again, from the spruce wood going right, we're pretty much going to be doing the exact same pattern that we have over on the other side there. Get away, pig. I'm going to trap you in here. You're going to want to, from the spruce wood, do one oak wood plank, do a glass pane, Three oak wood planks, two glass pane, one oak wood plank. The exact same as we did on the other side there. So, 
Again, pause that if necessary. Make sure you've got that right. Once you've done that, we can move on. So what we're going to be doing now, once you have done the first two layers of our house, we're going to be adding a layer of stone brick stairs on top of it. So all the way around the top row of our house, like our giant square, we're just going to be doing stone bricks. So just trace along the top of our house, including on top of the doors, all the way around. That was a little stupid of me. There we go. I forgot that Minecraft's really sensitive about which direction you place stairs in. Eh, come on glass pane, why are you so awkward? So just go all the way around like this. Eh, come on! My dexterity is not where it used to be. There we go, that'll do it. So, hopefully with less trouble than I've just, uh, than I've just had, you just want to go all the way around the top of what we've just done with stone brick stairs to give you something that should look like that. Alright, so once you've done that, we can move on to the next step of our house. So, coming around to the front of the house, you're going to want to take out your spruce wood, and you're going to want to place a spruce wood block in that position right there. Now, I can't exactly put into words where that block is, but it should be fairly obvious just by looking at it, what I've done. And also, as a little bit of a side note, you just want that block to be phantomly hanging there by the power of Minecraft gravity. You don't want any blocks underneath it. It'll make doing the interior a little easier later on. So, once you have that block there placed all by its lonesome, you're going to want to place three more spruce wood directly on top of it. So one, two, three. And then what you're going to want to do once you have that spruce wood pillar, you're going to want to, from this top block, do two upright diagonals coming across the front of the house. So one and two. And just in case you aren't sure what upright diagonal means, exactly how it sounds. Upright diagonal. That direction. So once you've done those two with the spruce wood, you're going to want to do two more in the same row with your oak wood plank. So just following like the same line. One, two. And once you've done that, you're going to want to pretty much do the exact same thing, except on the right side of the house. And you're just going to want to make it join in the middle. So, coming over to the right side here, place spruce wood, three blocks on top, one, two, three. Two up left diagonals coming towards the center. Then two more with oak wood planks to meet a pre-existing half arch. So, that little archway that we've just made is just the outline to the upper part of the house. The framework, if you will. So, pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we're going to be pretty much doing the exact same thing on the back. So, once you've done that, come over to the back side here. And as I said, we're pretty much copying exactly what we have on the front there. So, spruce wood in the corner. Three on top. Two upright diagonals coming towards the middle. Two more with the awkward planks. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. So, from the other corner, spruce wood, three on top, two spruce, two oak wood, and there you have our two archways. So, once you've done that, and again, pause if necessary if you need a little time to catch up. Once you've done that, we're going to be doing a little bit of filling in. So, the two archways that you've just made, the two bits of framework that you've made, you just want to fill in the middle sections of them with oak wood planks. Now, there's a little more to them than that, but it just makes my job easier to fill them in and work out the details later. So, fill in the back and the front sections completely in with oak wood planks. Exactly like that. That looks kind of cool from the side. So there you go, that's what you want to have. And once you've filled in the front and the back arches, you just want to connect these four spruce wood that we have on the front and the back together with oak wood planks. So just building up the left and right side of the house a little bit as well. You just want to have four rows of oak wood planks. You don't need to do anything with the uh, with the other rows. 
because that will be where the roof goes, so it'd be kind of pointless adding the planks on there. Although I suppose it'd make placing the roof ever so slightly easier, but it'd be a waste of time in the long run, so you just want those four rows filled in with oak wood planks. And once you have that, we can move on to the roof. So the roof is going to be extremely easy for us to make. It doesn't really matter which side of the house you start on, left or right. Both sides are pretty much identical. It only matters what row you start it from. So you want to start it from this row that I have highlighted here. The top row of the four rows of oak wood planks I had to place. Turns out you only had to place three. Oops, my bad. Extra row won't hurt. So... The roof wants to stem from the spruce wood that we have on the front of the house here to the spruce wood that we have on the back of the house. And all you want to do is you just want to outline the road that I've just described with oak wood stairs. As I said, front to back, giving you something that should look like that. And once you've done that, as you might imagine, in typical roof fashion, you want to do the exact same thing that we've just done there, except on the next row higher. So right here, and then the row after that and then the row after that, so on and so forth, until we reach the top of the roof. So, just have your roof taper up until we reach the top, which is this row here, giving you something which should look a little bit like that. Pause that if necessary, make sure you have that, catch up if you need to. Once you've done that, we can move on to the other side of the roof. So, coming over to this side, and as I said, this side is identical to the side that we've just done, so starting in the exact same place, this top row of four, spruce wood to spruce wood, just do your row of oak wood stairs, and then, of course, on the next row, ever higher, until you are building back to back with the top row of spruce wood that we have on the other side, which is right there. Giving you something, once you have done that side, giving you something which should look a little bit like that. And you may be thinking to yourself, that roof's, that roof's looking a little plain. Something needs to be done. Well, something is going to be done. Pause that if necessary. Make sure you have that. Once you've done that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to make the roof overhang the front and the back of the house by one row. And all you, all you want to do to do that is you just want to throw on another, another layer of stairs onto, as I said, the front and the back of the house. So... You want to have something that should look a little bit like this. So that's the front of the house. Improved it already. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, move over to the back of the house. So, as I said, you want to do the exact same thing on the back. I'm being a little careful. I'm being a little slow. I've, uh, I've got a problem with placing stairs. I don't know why it is. I have the same problem with glass pane. They're unpredictable. They're unruly. So you want to have something that looks like that as well. Looks identical to the front. Once you've done that, we can move on to the next step of the roof. So we've just got one more thing to do to the roof, and here's what we're going to do. You're going to take out your spruce wood stairs, and starting from the bottom, working our way up to the top of the roof, underneath the stairs that we've just placed, except for this first stair here, you want to ignore that, and you want to do this. You just want to place an upside-down stairs, like that, underneath the stairs. And as I said, you want to do the exact same thing, tapering up to the top of the roof. So you just want to, you just want to do this. Oops, come on. Then on the other side as well. Come on, we can, there we go. And just in case you're curious what it should look like at the top, it should just like join at the top there. But you want to do the exact same thing on the other side as well. There has got to be an easier way to placing upside down stairs. Somebody told me that there was in the comments. Why didn't I retain that information? So, there you go. That's what you want to have for the roof there. You just want to place your spruce wood stairs underneath the original oak wood stairs. So, pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, you want to do the exact same thing to the other side of the roof as well. So, on this side, I really do hate this bit. As I said, ignoring this first stairs, you don't want to uh, you don't want to do anything there, but uh, you want to do it on every other stairs until you reach the top. There we go. This side's going a lot easier. I've got the hang of it, guys. Got the hang of it. Until you have something which should look a little bit like that, and once you've done that, you have successfully completed the roof. 
As always, pause that if necessary, and once you have done that, we can move on to the next stage of the plan. So, you may remember me telling you earlier that we're only filling in these giant panels with oakwood planks for convenience. So, it's time to add a few details to them. So, you're going to want to start on the front of the house. Unfortunately, the front and the back aren't identical. It makes my job a little harder. So, you want to be on the front of the house, and as a... <clears throat> As always, pause that if necessary, and once you have done that, we can move on to the next stage of the plan. So you may <coughs> So as always, pause that if necessary and <coughs> So as always, pa <coughs> So as always, pause that if necessary, and once you have done that, we can move on to the next stage of the plan. So you may remember me telling you earlier that I was only filling in these panels with oakwood planks. For convenience. Well, it's time to add some details to them. So, you don't want to be on the front of the house, unfortunately the front and the back aren't identical, makes my job that little bit harder. So, you want to be on the front of the house, and you want to find the only row in it that has two oakwood plank blocks in it. So, now you're on, <coughs> so now you're on the top of the house. <clears throat> As always, pause that if necessary, and once you have done that, we can move on to the next stage of the plan. So, you may remember me telling you earlier that I was only filling in these panels with oakwood planks for convenience. Well, it's time to add some details to them. So, you're going to want to be on the front of the house. Unfortunately, the front and the back of the house aren't identical. It makes my job that little bit harder. And once you are on the front, you're going to want to find the only row that has two oakwood planks in it. So, you want to be nigh on at the top and you want to be here, and once you have found the only row that has two upward planks, you want to knock those blocks out, and you want to replace them with glass pane. What you then want to do, after you've replaced those two blocks with glass pane, is you want to knock out the four underneath, and you want to replace those four blocks with stone bricks, giving you something that should look like that. And then, once you've done that, you're going to want to come a little further down the panel to about here. You want to be on this block, and as you can see, you're on the second row, and you're on the second block in. That block exactly there, you want to knock that out, and the two blocks above it. And you want to replace all three of those blocks with glass pane, giving you something which should look like that. And then, what you want to do after you have replaced those three blocks with glass pane, you want to move three rows over, so one, two, three, right here, and you want to do a similar thing, you want to knock out those three blocks in line with those three that we knocked over on the left side here, and after you've knocked out those three blocks, you're going to want to do the same thing to the next two rows going right. So, you want to have made a little three by three square, like that. What you then want to do is, on the bottom row here, you, you want to do this, it's, it's not really easy for me to explain, you just want to add in a row of oakwood planks, or any block really, and then what you want to do is you just want to do a row of oakwood slab underneath the five blocks that you just placed. So essentially what you wanted to do is you just wanted to do a row of oakwood slabs underneath the 3x3 three three square that you've just made, and it wants to be in line with like the bottom row. Again, really difficult for me to explain, but you know, there you go, it's very easy to do. So all you wanted to do was place five blocks stemming across the bottom row of three, and then place oakwood slabs directly underneath them, destroy the blocks on top, and that gives you that. Then what you want to do is you just want to add some glass pane, and you want to make like a, a little bit of a balcony, you want to do that. So let me just show you what you've made on the front here so far, just to uh, just give you a little bit of perspective. So there you go, that's what you want to have so far, we've just got one more thing to do on this side so far. So what you want to do is you can replace the oakwood slabs with spruce wood slabs. And what you want to do, at the top of like the three rows that you've just knocked out, from the top row you just want to do this. And again, eh, my specialty is not placing stairs. You want to place like uh, two upside down stairs in the corner, like coming towards the center, and then you just want to place a spruce wood slab in the middle just to give you a Nice little fancy walkway out onto the balcony. So you want to have something that looks like that. And once again, it's hard for me to explain these things, but, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory looking at it. I mean, let me let me show you the whole, whole top of the house, what you want to have so far. Very easy to do, probably a little long-winded, but I want to make sure that you get that right. So, again, 
pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we can move over to the back of the house. So, coming round to the back, the first part that we're going to do is very similar to the front. So, when you're on the back of the house, you want to find the only row of two blocks in it, these two here. You want to knock those out, replace them with glass pane. Then, as you might guess, you then want to knock the four blocks out from underneath it, replace those with stone bricks. Giving you something that should look like we have on the front, that. And once you've done that, again, pause that if necessary, if you have to catch up, etc, etc. Once you've done that, you want to come further down the panel, and you want to be on the second row of the panel right next to the spruce wood, and you want to knock out like a little 2x2 two two square, like that. What you then want to do, after you've knocked out that 2x2 two two square, we'll be placing glass in there a little later on. Once you've done that, you want to do two more similar squares, except they want to be spaced one apart from each other, so leaving one block, 2x2 two two square, leaving a block, 2x2 two two square, giving you something that should look like that. And as I said, once you've done that, you just want to place glass pane in there to give you three nice little windows. And the back of the house is a lot simpler to do than the front. So that's what you want to have for the back. Pause that if necessary. Hopefully that was easy enough for you to follow. Very straightforward. Just by looking at it, you should be able to quite easily deduce what I've done there, even without any instructions. So... Once you've done that, we can move on to the side of the house, and unfortunately, both sides are different. So, we're going to start on the right side of the house first of all. So, you know, as you're looking at it from the front, the right side of the house, this one right here. And you just want to, the top row of oak wood planks that you have, you want to knock out the three middle blocks, which should just leave you two oak wood planks on the left and right side of it. And then what you want to do is you just want to replace those three blocks with glass paint, giving you a little window like that. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, we can move over to the left side of our house. And we're going to be doing something slightly different on this side. We're going to be adding in a chimney. So, this chimney wants to begin on top of this oak wood plank block right here. And from the row of three, it wants to be the oak wood plank block that is closest to the back of the house. And what you want to do is you want to knock out the stone brick stairs that's on top of it, and going up in the same line, you want to knock out this oak wood stairs that makes up the first row of our roof. So you just want to knock out those two stairs to give you something that should look like that. And once you've done that, you're going to want to stack a row of eight stone bricks on top of our oak wood planks going straight up in the air. So, as I said, row of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you've done that, it should look a little something like that, but once you've done that, you may choose to add a little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney, just to make it look a little more realistic, a little more lifelike, a little bit better. So I'm going to abandon the wooden door, we won't need any more doors, and you may want to grab yourself some web. I assume that's spider web. It could easily be parrot web. So, from the top of your chimney, you may just want to add in some web, just to give a bit of a smoky effect. Smoky effect, smoky effect. Just to make it look a little lived in. Eh. I was never any good at this. Shape it a little. You know what? Your, your smoke will probably look a little better if you choose to put it in. But... <laughs> God, that looks awful. That looks absolutely terrible, but that's supposed to be smoke. That's what that's supposed to represent. So, you may want to do that, you may not. Um, whatever. So, after you have done the chimney, and optional smoke included, you're going to want to, on the left side of the house, still, we're not done, in this little section that is sandwiched between our newly made chimney and the front of the house, you're going to want to be on the top row, and you're going to want to knock out these two middle blocks of oak wood planks and replace those with glass pane to give you something that looks like that. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to take the UI off here, because I'm going to give you a nice 360 degree view of the house to give you a benchmark of what your house should look like, because from this point, we have completed the entire outside of the house. Although, on the original house, there's also some torches added here and about, just to uh, light it up a bit in the dark, but other than the torches, which I'm not going to be adding in, um, that is the entire outside of the house complete, with the terrible looking smoke included. So, from this point onwards, what I'm going to be showing you... You know what, that doesn't... No, no, that does look terrible. 
Never mind, the smoke is awful. So from this point onwards, I'm going to be showing you where the floors are supposed to go in the house and give you a rough idea of where you should put the stairs. And I'm also going to knock out the original floor here. So, you know, if you've got your own ideas for the inside of the house, you may want to turn off now. That is the entire outside of the house done. You may want to join me for the next part, you may not. So, coming to the inside of the house, as I said, I plan on knocking out the entire bottom section here, so just knock out all of these grass blocks. I'm going to replace them with... I was going to uh, replace them with oakwood planks, but I'm thinking spruce for this one. I think uh, I think dark might be a little better. I think I, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to use spruce wood planks. So I'm not going to uh, show you uh, me doing this, because it will take a little while. It's uh, a little unnecessary amount of time added onto the video, but I'll be knocking all of this out, um, including underneath the doors as well, my my video Lee PSA. Knock out underneath the doors and windows if they're exposed. If you can see the blocks underneath them, knock them out, replace them with your wood of choice, in which case spruce wood. I know it's a pain because you've then got to replace the doors and such, but it doesn't matter, it looks a lot better. So remember to knock underneath the doors and windows. As I said, Repeating for probably the fifth time, I'm going to knock out the entire ground floor. I'm also going to be adding in the floor, and the floor being the second floor, which lines up right here. So in line with our balcony, it just wants to be exactly here, directly underneath the two windows on the front of the house and the back of the house. A lot of you may have been able to guess where uh, where the floor is supposed to go, but some of you may have been, you know, curious. So. I'm going to be doing both of those things, finishing the ground floor and the second floor, then I'll be back, I'll show you what those two things look like, and then we will see what will be happening from there. So I will be back very short. So I've just finished putting in both of the floors, shall we take a bit of a gander, see how it turned out? Absolutely, let's, uh, let's head on inside. So first of all, I completely stand behind my choice of the darker wood flooring. I have a feeling that at night, from the outside, it will make the house look a little bit more ominous. And I kind of like that, since from this house I get a kind of like cabin in the woods sort of feel. Um, so, there's not really that much to show you on the inside. As I said, I've, I've just put in the floors, but I said I'd show you, so I'm showing you. Uh, the stairs on the original house are kind of over here, as I remember as well. Or they're on the back of the house, I can't remember which. So, I just made some crude stairs just so we can travel up to the top. The top is surprisingly spacey. I can't remember it being uh, being this high. I don't think I really appreciated this house until I've made it myself. Like, uh, it was definitely in my mind one of the weaker houses as I, like, sort through the original six, and this is the last house that I've made, and you guys obviously thought the same, but I I definitely like it. It's, uh, it's definitely a cool design. There's a lot more to it than meets the eyes. You go around it, you see the details that are added in there. It's, it's definitely a nice house, and I like the little balcony as well. So this is the this is the entire upstairs, and we've already saw the downstairs, so let's head out a little bit so we can move on to the next bit. So, as some of you guys may know, and that's why I'm not going to be... I'm not going to draw this out too much. I don't like doing the interiors. I don't do the interiors. It's not my deal. If you're expecting an interior, it's how I can tell that you've never watched one of my tutorials before. I don't like doing them. I don't do them. So this is supposed to be the part where I tell you that despite the fact that I really do hate doing interiors, I can show you the original house where the interior is done, and where there's a few bits and bobs done to the outside of the house to make it look a little better. However, I've just went and had a look at the original house, and honestly, the differences are minuscule. With the inside of the house, it really is just like a, a couple of chests added here and about, a couple of paintings, a couple of torches added to the inside, a few beds, there really isn't anything special with the inside and the outside all that's added is a hedge a path and some grass blocks added around to look like weeds and again some torches added to the outside there really isn't anything to see and since i'm unwilling to give you an interior i'm really sorry i, I can't do it i can't do it i can't force myself then this is where it all ends so Hopefully this tutorial was easy enough for you to follow, hopefully you enjoyed it, 
Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should think about subscribing. I have plenty more stuff like this on my channel. I have tutorials ranging from YouTube statues, skin statues, houses, pixel art. The list goes on. Thanks for watching.